broken crayons still color. This was such a powerful statement when I heard it earlier this week. And it made a really big impression on me. It made me laugh and it made me cry at the same time because my very favorite childhood toy was a cigar box full of broken colors and broken crayons. And I had hours and hours and hours of enjoyment from that box of broken gray crayons at my grandparents' house. There was such a freedom in that box of broken crayons. There was permission for me to let go of perfect. There was permission for me to explore. There was permission for me to be the me I needed to be and just make art, my art. It wasn't for show or sell or any of that. It was just being creative for the joy of being creative. So how are you doing? I promised you that I would be sharing some of the lessons that I have learned along the way in our process here. And today, I want to talk a little bit about being open or breaking open, because that's kind of what I felt like this week. Um, the broken crayons seem to fit right in with the breaking open of me kind of thing. So I am hoping that you are opening. And as you start to peel away the layers of your dreamer self, not everything is going to make sense. I hope that you will suspend your judgment on that and just be open and be willing to not know. That's big, isn't it? Just be willing to not know. You just might be pleasantly surprised. If there is a technique or a process that I'm doing or you're doing that mystifies you, just kind of be with it in that moment and try to learn from it. That's kind of like there's never ever been what I call a mistake in my creative space. Because even if I spill a bottle of ink, it still ends up something that I can use somewhere along the line, most times. <laughs> so if things are proceeding too slowly for you, because I know I'm, I'm moving a little bit slow here. <laughs> I'm trying to get in my rhythm, just like you're trying to get in your rhythm of a daily creative practice, trying to do that, trying to figure out what mine is, and trying to help you figure out what yours is. So if, if things are going too slowly, set the timer for another 20 minutes. If you don't want to stop, you have permission to set it as many times as you want. Or heck, you can even forget about that timer all together and just go until you can't go anymore. That's the flow time that every artist just loves to be in. There's no rules here. You have permission to do anything you want to do. It is all about you. And it's all about finding your personal daily creative practice. Whatever that looks like. It's not going to look like mine. And mine isn't going to look like yours. We're just here to help each other. And that leads me to my next big thing that happened this week. If you paid attention, if you were paying attention on the Creativa on Facebook, my page, you will note that I did a poll about, I was having trouble coming up with a tagline for what to actually explain what I was doing with the 20 minutes in 2020. And lo and behold, 
one of my former students, sweet, sweet Laura B came up with this uh, wonderful thing that just took me into another place with contagious creativity. And I'm like, that's it. That is it, Laura. And a million, million thanks for blessing me by making that statement today. She's an art therapist and a wonderful, wonderful person and artist, and she creates every day. And I am so inspired with her. It's great when your students start to inspire you even more than you inspire them. And Laura is one of those people for me. So I thank you a million times, Laura, and I hope everybody here will eventually do that. So contagious creativity, just that's it. That's the word I want to use. That's the place I want to be in. That's the community I want to create. That is you and me together, inspiring each other and helping each other to get over our stumbles and our blocks and our stuck places and just be able to get out there and put the art out that we are supposed to make, that we are meant to make, whatever that calling is inside of us, that mystical, magical place where nobody else can be but you. I love that. It's working on your practice. And I find such joy there. It's just working my practice. You know, just like a doctor or a lawyer or anything, an artist has a practice. And practice in the noun sense of the word and the verb sense of the word. We are practicing while we're making and developing our creative practice. I hope that <laughs> makes good sense. My nice little light went out here beside me. I think my little light broke. Okay, so anyway, I'm dark on one side all of a sudden. Sorry about that. So anyway, this crazy boho art lady here before you thought um, that I could help you and share all those things that I have done in my life that's been a long creative life but I didn't really, or I, I actually got out of the habit of a daily creative practice. Long time ago, when I first started a, an art blog called Creativa back in, I think it was 2004, the first thing I did, the very first full year that I blogged there, I created a face every day. I wanted to get back into drawing. I hadn't drawn in a long time. And I wanted to get back into the space where I was actually opening up a sketchbook or a journal and drawing every day. So I thought I love to draw faces. So that's what I did. I gave each one of them a name. And here is, here is one of them. And this is Ginger. This is my um, inner mean girl. Da, 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 da. She is the one who always makes me doubt myself and tells me I'm not good enough and tells me that, you know, what do you think you're doing, Rebecca? You are not an artist that anybody would care to see your work. Mm -mm -mm. So what I do with this little girl is lots of times I will just put big piece of tape right over her mouth. Whenever she gets really violent and really destructive to my fragile ego, I just put a piece of tape over her mouth and put her up in the studio so that she will just be quiet. That's my way of, um, of saying, stop, stop. It's symbolic way for me to say stop. So if you haven't done that, maybe we'll do that sometime this year. We will just kind of come up with our inner mean girl and draw and paint her. And then you can put tape over yours, just like I put tape over mine. <laughs> 
So I, I'm going to check out of here tonight. I think that's, I think I've said enough and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I can't wait for day 13 and beyond this week. We're going to have a lot of fun and I invite you to meet me at the intersection of creativity and intuition. It's a place I call intuitivity. Creativa stays there. Rebecca goes in and out. And I also invite you to join the Contagious Creativity Club, where broken crayons inspire and they are joyful reminders of that childhood place and time where we colored just for the sake of coloring, not to make art not to make money, just for the sake of coloring. May joy be with you all.